Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will try to show you how to set up Pinterest conversion API for Shopify store. That is our Shopify store and that is the partner store. Previously I had set up data layer for Shopify store. That's link will be the description box. I hope you can check it out. Here is a lots of data layer enable video uh, like theme independent data layer, theme dependent data layer. So after watching this video, how to enable the Shopify data layer for your Shopify store, then come back to this tutorial. So let's get started and go to our website backend and here you can see that I am enabling data layer checker plus and our uh, left side we can see that all event if you go to the view item event in the data layer checker plus extension uh, here you can see that snap data layer for theme independent but today I am decided I will set up the data layer according to GA4 schema because lots of audience do not using the theme independent data layer they are using the GA4 data layer so today I will show you how to set up um, Pinterest conversion API by using of GA4 data layer. So let's back to the main task that is our Google Tag Manager and I am also created the tag and I presume that you already know that how to create tag triggers variable for your website if you do not yet then go to my YouTube channel here I am providing the lots of video I hope you can um, watching those video and understand how to set up tag triggers variable for your Google Tag Manager so here I am go to the new to set up Pinterest tag so new uh, tag configuration and find out the pinterest so we are just search on it pinterest here you can see the pinterest after adding our tag we can see that you have to adding the tag id pinterest tag id so where we find out the pinterest tag id you just completing your login process in the ads.pinterest.com back and go to the a tag manager section here you can see the tag id so in my case i am copy the tag id from here so if you do not yet create the pinterest ads account so you can firstly create this account then you can find out the pinterest tag id so i am copy the id and back to our google tag manager so here i am click the plus sign why because again and again i, I do not copy the same thing so i'm creating the constant variable for pinterest tag so plus sign also variable configuration and find out the constant variable and paste the id and in the variable name will be the pinterest tag save the id and hash also i am adding the id so i am do not find out the hash email in the byt email i am only find out the hash email for the purchase event so when we set up the purchase event or checkout event you also know that pinterest has not any kind of purchase event they call checkout event so after completing the checkout event i come back to the hash email so i am adding the pinterest tag and then triggering section i am adding the plus sign and also plus sign that will be the custom event and if you go to our data layer here you can see the page view event because uh, for the shopify store we are using the theme independent data layer or theme dependent data layer they are do not providing the page view event by using of all pages you have to create the trigger for that so i am copying the page view back to our whole tag manager and paste the page view the trigger will be the event page view save it and our that is our pinterest tag the name will be the pinterest tag by using this tag we are just adding our website with the pinterest so now time to create the required variable for a page visit event and add to cart and also the checkout event you know you also know that pinterest has not any kind of purchase event they are called checkout event so i'm go to the variable sections and create some required variable for our upcoming event so here you can see that user defined variable click new variable configuration and find out the fastly event id we do not find out the event id here so go to template gallery and search the event id here you can see the event id so we are adding the event id so we adding the event id the variable name will be the event id save it and our second one is value variable configuration and then go to data layer variable so what is the value if you go to again the data layer and 
you go to view item that is the page visit and the e-commerce here you can see the value so i am pick the e-commerce value and for the currency that is the same process e-commerce dot value so i am creating the all of required parameter back to our google tag manager so just i am adding the value that is the value save it and our next one is currency that is and that will be the currency and next one is we have to set up so our next one is uh, data variable e-commerce items variable because we have to pick the all product details e-commerce items and our variable is that is e-commerce items save the items variable and then go to new again we have to create the another required variable now i am creating the product quantity variable so go to new and variable configuration and custom javascript and here i have to put the code that is cgs uh, quantity by using this code i am able to grab the all product quantity for the our pinterest parameter so i am copy the code from here back to google tag manager paste the here you can see that quantity because i am using the ga4 schema so i am change the e-commerce items because previously i am creating the e-commerce items variable so that is the cgs product quantity save it and our our next one is line items is the required event parameter for the pinterest so i am creating the line items event parameter so go back to our document here you can see that line items according to the pinterest schema by using this schema we have to avail to uh, push our total product details so we are copy the code from here to create the line items array and back to google tag manager paste it and we just change our e-commerce items variable and that is the line items for pinterest array save it and our next variable is product id so new variable configuration custom javascript and back to our documents here you can see that product id so we are copy the id from here and back to our google tag manager and paste it that is our product id save it so our next one is product category again we back to our data layer and go to our e-commerce here in the e-commerce and the item sections we have to expand it this that is the item category so we are using this um, variable parameter item category new variable variable configuration and custom javascript so we are rapidly pick the any code and just here we have to instead the item id based on it and change the item id so back to our data layer and the view item and then go to e-commerce and in the items we have to expand it more that is the item category so you copy the item item category from here and then back to google tag manager we here we have to paste the item category and change the our e-commerce items you can see we are have we have to provide the e-commerce item now change the variable name that is cgs item category save it now again i am go to our variable and check out that we have to miss anything or not e-commerce items that will be okay item category that also be okay and then product id here you can see that we do not change that dlb e-commerce items so we are adding the e-commerce item here and save it we are completed all of our required variable for the pin pinterest conversion api now one by one i have to just adding the tag so go to tag and new tag tag configuration and then go to our pinterest tag and tag id we are also adding the tag id and even to fire that is the page visit that means that is our view item even according to ga4 schema product id already we are adding the id so product id already we have to adding the product id variable product category also we have item category and so triggering will be the view item so we are click the plus sign to create the trigger and trigger configuration custom event and that will be the view item according to ga4 schema and event will be the view item save it and tag will be the interest view item you can say the page visit save it 
now go to the second one that is the add to cart so we are again pick the pinterest tag and tag id already we have created the id so we are just adding it pinterest tag and email has email is the important we have to adding the letter after completing the purchase event event to fire that is the add to cart and order value that is the value already we are created it currency almost we have created it currency water quantity order quantity order id that is the transaction id transaction id is not necessary because we know that when you purchase any product then we find out the transaction id so for add to cart that is not necessary and also product id we are adding with and also the product category cs item category so we are adding almost all of required event parameter for the add to cart event now time to trigger so triggering plus sign also plus sign and that will be the custom event and add to cart and that will event add to cart save it and also giving the tag name that is pinterest add to cart save it we are done for page visit and add to cart now time to our last one that is begin checkout event you already know that pinterest has not any kind of purchase event they call it begin checkout event we, we just check out our data layer here you can see that purchase event and if you go to the email section here you can see the email most of data layer providing the hash email so you do not need to hashing the email but if you have a problem then you can go to my youtube channel i'm already shown you how to hash the email so i am just creating the variable email for hash transaction id that's not necessary to create the transaction id event parameter because for the purchase event we are using the line items array and in the array pinterest are also find out the transaction id from the line items event parameter so do not create the again the transaction id we just create the email variable so back to our google tag manager go to variable sections adding the hash email so i am just creating the data layer variable and according to the data layer i am just adding the email so email and here also email save it so now by back to tag option and new tag to create the purchase event and for the pinterest that will be the checkout event so go to the pinterest tag pinterest tag hash we are also email created the email and even to fire that is the checkout because here you can see that do not find out any purchase event for pinterest checkout so that is the value already we created this value currency the same process this and then quantity and order id not necessary we are provide the line items and for the line items we do not using the product id product ID here we are just click on the customer parameter and add row here we adding the line items and line items pinterest array our all work is done now time to triggering and the plus sign triggering triggering configuration custom event and here we have to adding the purchase so event purchase save it and tag will be the pinterest purchase save it and submit it publish it continue you know that uh, for the theme independent data layer we do not find out the uh, google tag manager bb option so just to reload the website so now time to testing our all event is working perfectly or not so go to any product page for the page visit add to cart checkout and then providing the user information and finally click the pay now button to activate the purchase event back to our pinterest here that is our pinterest tag go to three dot and uh, and conversion and here you can see that our all event is perfectly working our date are shows the uh, 27th november so we are finding the uh, all event in pinterest conversion api so finally we are able to set up pinterest conversion api for browser site in the next video i will show you how to set up the pinterest conversion api for server site so thanks for watching this video thank you